Are you from the old timeline or are you from the new timeline? Let me ask. So I'm someone who actually used to believe in the Mandela effect really, really severely. I don't anymore only because I've been so far in my journey that I think there's actually a really reasonable explanation for the Mandela effect. So hear me out. Also, by the way, the way she describes new and old timelines, like that's not really a thing. I don't think there are multiple, like actually infinite amount of timelines. And every time you make a decision or change a thought or anything like that, you actually jump timelines. So you could be jumping timelines a hundred million times a day. Actually, I did the math. It would be 86,400 times a day. So the way the Mandela effect works is basically that a great collective of people are remembering things differently than the rest of society. Okay, there's a couple of things that could be an explanation for this. First of all, it's the internet. If you're looking something up on the internet, things could always be different, can always be changed, this, that, and the other. But there is something called confirmation bias. So if we are looking for something different, that's exactly what we're going to find. Whatever our brain wants us to confirm, it is going to confirm that through finding things that support whatever we're believing. A lot of people have really shitty memory. I don't know if people know that. I mean, I'm sure people know this, but witness, eyewitness statements are among the most unreliable statements you can ever have. They're horrible evidence in any case. People remember things so differently, like you wouldn't believe. And you can question someone's reality really easily, which is why, for example, gaslighting when you're dealing with a narcissist works so well. It's a sort of brainwashing process that they're going through, but it doesn't matter. Our brain isn't hardwired to remember things the way that they happened. Our brain is hardwired to remember things in a way that we feed it. It's like a computer. And whatever program or system you feed your computer, that's what it's going to run off of. So this whole there's an old timeline and a new timeline, that's also something that can create a lot of fear in people. If they think they're in a timeline that's not good for them, you can jump into any timeline you want at any point in time. Your life should not be ruled by fear ever, ever, ever. So don't get distracted with all of that stuff. It doesn't matter whether Britney Spears had a microphone or didn't have a microphone and oops, I did it again. It doesn't matter. For your overall general life, you should make decisions on what it is you actually want, what it is you want for society, and then jump into that timeline.